Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the bicycle chain. This design was made by Jacob Banner, who goes under the Instagram handle Buff a Limp, and also could be found on YouTube as Jake Banner. Now, the first time I saw this bracelet, I thought, wow, it looks really different. It kind of looks like the Ecliptica, but if you look at the other side, clearly it is not. It is reversible in the sense that you see this side and you'll see silver links with pink centers and you flip it and it's pink links with silver centers. But it has an extremely different technique of looping and you'll see what I mean in the video. So without wasting your time any further, let's get started. To set up your loom for the bicycle chain, you are just going to need a standard aligned setup of the loom so all these pegs are parallel and at this point you can pause the video and match this exact setup okay and we are only going to be using two pegs where the groove is so you can get in easy right here we'll be using these two pegs for the video which means that you can use a monster tail, a fork, and the mini loom. For this tutorial, we'll be making this bracelet right here. And I would highly recommend choosing three different colors because this bracelet consists of three parts. The first part is the center. As you can see, the center is black on this bracelet. And then the other two parts are the links. This side has silver links. The other side has pink links. You'll need about 20 bands per each link color and about 17 bands for the center color. So, the first band that you'll be grabbing is a center color band. Mine is going to be black and you're gonna connect these two pegs with a single black, but it's not going straight across. You're gonna turn it into an eight. Just like that and you're gonna push down and then grab your first color of a ring on one side and you're gonna cap it just like that on top of this peg okay and push down slightly and now you're gonna grab your hook and you're gonna get in front of that cap band and grab that bottom black from inside get around these corners bring it up and over onto the other peg then you're going to push down on the right and then grab your first link color on the other side which is silver for me and then again Cap it on the right peg this time, right? Now you're gonna grab your hook, get in front of just the silver and grab both of these blacks and pull it out. Use that edge to get in between, swing it around and bring both of these blacks back onto this peg. Just like that. And then you're gonna grab your hook and bring these two bottom pinks up and over this black that we just brought over. Okay, now we can push down and then we are grabbing another pink. So just remember, whatever color you chose to be the links on this side, which was pink, we're always putting cat pinks on this one, always putting cat silvers on this one. So now that we brought that pink over, put another capped pink over here, just like that. Now grab your hook, get in front of both of these pinks and grab both ends of those blacks again. Maybe hold on to this if you see that it's getting caught. Hold on to the pinks, use that corner to get in between that loop, swing this around and bring it up and over. 
Then grab these two silvers and bring it up and over just like that. Push down and now put a silver cap band on top over here. And then again, use your hook, get in front of both these silvers and bring this black up and over to this side. Okay. Now you want to grab your hook and bring up those bottom two pinks. Just like that. And then push down. And now it switches up a little bit. Because what you're going to notice is that this black band right here is going to start to get extremely tense. And the only way to loosen up the tension is to extend it. So the center of this bicycle chain is basically a classic single. And in order to extend it, you have to grab another black band, hold it slightly near this end, get inside, as you can see my hook's facing forward. I'm gonna grab that black end, then bring it up and hold on to it with my thumb. So as you can see, I have two ends right there of the same exact band. Then I'm gonna go inside that loop, just like that. And while I'm holding on to this, I'm gonna hold the center of this band right here really tight so that it doesn't fall off. And I'm gonna pull this black and that's on that peg off and now I'm going to replace it with these two ends so you can use your hand to help as you can see I'm going to open up that loop and bring it up and over this peg so now that center band has been extended and as you can see this black band is connected to this we can push down and resume where we left off. Now we're going to put a cat pink right over here. And then we're going to go in front of that pink. Grab both ends of these blacks. Bring it up. And over to the other peg. Then we're going to bring this silver up. And over normally push down and then put another cap silver on top and again get in front grab both ends of that black get around that corner swing it around bring it over and bring that pink up push down Put a cat pink on top and then get in front of that pink, grab both ends of that black, get around that corner, bring it over and bring the silver up and again we are going to extend that black. So. I'm going to hold this black right by this side, get in front of both of those blacks, grab that one end of the black, just like this, and hold on to it with your hand. Then go through both ends, there's one, and there's two, I have both ends of that band. And I am going to pull this off while I'm pushing down in the center. This is a very hard part. Pull it off and now put both ends of this loop over. Just like that. All right. So you're extending this every three. So once I bring it over, that's one, two, three. When the black's on this side, after three cap bands were placed on top, 
then you extend the black again. All right, now we can resume, put a cap silver on top. Remember to go in front of the cap bands, grab both ends of this black, bring it up and over. Okay, now bring this pink on the bottom up normally. Push down, you put a cap pink on top. Again, get in front of that cap pink. Grab both of those blacks, get around that corner, and bring it over to this peg, and bring the silver up. Push down, place another capped silver on top. Get in front of the silvers, grab both of those blacks, get around that corner, bring it over to this peg, and bring those pinks up. And since that was the third time, now we have to extend that black. So grab a single black, get in front of these two blacks, grab it and bring it down, hold on to it, then get inside one end of the loop, and then the second end, as you can see, and now I'm going to hold down the center, pull this off gently, and then place this end onto that peg and then push down. Right, so that's basically the sequence. Just remember to keep track of every three bands that you're putting on top. And that's all it is. Get in front of those pinks, bring this black to the other side. Bring the silver up. Push down. Cap silver on top. Get in front of the cap silver, grab those two blacks, get around that corner, bring it over, bring the pink on top, push down, cap pink, get in front of the cap pink, grab those two blacks, swing it around, paste it on top, and since that was three, Bring the silver up and extend this black. Get in front, grab onto one end of this black, pull it out, hold onto it, get inside this loop. There's one and there's two. Hold on to the center, pull this black off of this peg and place this end on, push down, and just pull it off. And then resume. Silver capped, get in front, bring that black out, and over to the other side. Push down, bring this pink up, push down paint capped, get in front, grab the blacks, swing it around, bring it up and over, bring the silver up, push down, silver capped, get in front of the silvers, grab the blacks, Bring it up and over onto this peg. Bring the pinks up. And then since this is a third, we're gonna extend the black. Hold on to the center, bring this over. 
and that's basically it. So I'm just going to continue this at a faster pace without commentary, maybe for another two steps before I fade to the end and I show you how to clip. All right, so in front of the two pinks. Okay, so I'm almost to the point where I'm satisfied with the length and again, get in front of this black, grab that, get inside these two loops, there's one, two, pull this off. Place it on top, push down, cap silver, get in front of the cap, grab those two blacks, bring it up and over, bring this pink up, push down, cap pink on top. And in front of the cat paint, grab those two blacks, bring it up and over, and bring the silver up, just like that, push down. And this is gonna be the last band I'm placing on top. So I'm getting in front of that silver, bringing this up, and over, then bringing this pink up, just like that, push down. And now I'm gonna bring this silver on the right, up and over to this. So I'm gonna end it where normally I would have extended this black at this point, all right? So I'm just gonna grab these two right silvers, get in with the hook facing down, Face it away from the tension. Hold down on the center of this bracelet and bring this up and over this peg so that now you have four bands on this peg or four ends. And then you can grab a C-clip. Get in just like this and just push down until you know you have all four ends. As you can see, I have all four ends and then I can pull it off, tug on it slightly. Okay. Straighten it out and then clip the other end. I like to clip right here. There's silver in the center. Just like that. So there you have it. That is the finished bicycle chain designed by Jake Banner. So follow him on these networks right here. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. This is Rob from Justin's Toys. Happy looming.